All right, this house has eight mini split heads in it. And we put a manifold underneath the house where we tied together all the condensate lines. So we're actually coming out of the house with a condensate, an inch and a quarter condensate. One of the things I didn't want to have happen on this house, I didn't want to have water just dripping by the house. This is on a crawl, it has a crawl space. We're actually waterproof very well behind this with a good waterproof membrane and a dimple board all the way down. And we've caulked our footings, everything with a French drain. But I wanted to get the water away from the house, not dripping. So what we did here is we actually, this is a, this line right here is our gutter drain system. And I got a double way, a double direction clean out that runs here and the gutters run this direction on the house. So what we did was we actually took and extended this over with a Santee and then we have a 90 that we brought up here right underneath the condensate line. And then I've got a gem cap here and I have I've extended an inch and a quarter uh, schedule 80, just a riser right here into this and this gem cap we cut out. This is, you can screw this out here if you wanted to get an air gap out of this. So you have, it's able to drop down or you can put a grate on this and just let it drop into this. But I wanted to seal this up good. So if this thing was to back up, it would come out in another spot that's lower than this um, first. But I, I wanted to make sure that this water would drain away from the house and get out of here and not just be constantly dripping and getting in the foundation. So if you're looking to keep HAC condensate, control it, get away from the house. This is one way to tie it into an existing gutter system drain that goes either to a basin or goes to daylight and drains out somewhere.